before talking about the division algorithm, let's introduce a few notions. First, observe that for all real numbers x, there is an integer m such that x is greater than or equal to m and less than m plus one. Loosely speaking, this means that x always lies between two integers. We may define the floor of x to be m, which is the result by rounding down x to the nearest integer. Floor of x is called the integer part of x. Subtracting the integer part of x from x, we have the fractional part of x. Note that, by definition, the floor of x is an integer, and the fractional part of x is greater than or equal to zero and less than one. For example, the floor of three point four is three. The floor of two is two. Because two is itself an integer, and the floor of negative forty-one over seven is negative six, because forty-one over seven is about five point eight six. Now we introduce the division algorithm. Consider integers a and b, where b is non-zero. Then the division algorithm asserts there is an integer q. And a non-negative integer r such that a equals q times b plus r, and r is greater than or equal to zero and less than b. This formula should look familiar. It just states that the dividend is equal to the quotient times divisor plus remainder, and that the remainder must be strictly less than the divisor. For example, if a equals negative thirty-four. And b equals eight, then we can write negative thirty-four as negative five times eight plus six. So q equals negative five and r equals six. Let's try to prove this result. Let q be the integer part of a over b. Then a over b equals q plus f, where f is the fractional part of a over b. Let r equals b times f. Then r equals b times a over b minus q, which equals a minus q times b, which is an integer. Also, since f is greater than or equal to zero and less than one, we have b times f is greater than or equal to zero and less than b. This means. That r is greater than or equal to zero and less than b, so the proof is complete. Note that in the proof, we have shown the existence of q and r by giving the explicit formula for computing q and r. Q is the integer part of a over b, while r is a minus q times b. Such a proof is known as a constructive proof. We can check that the proof makes sense. By plugging in the values of a and b in the above example in the formulas for q and r, since a equals minus thirty-four and b equals eight, q is the integer part of negative thirty-four over eight, which is negative five. Also, r equals negative thirty-four minus negative five times eight, which equals six. So we have the same answer as before.